The transition from dirt to snow is a strong indication that the season is nearing the end. And around here, hunting season takes its end and pushes it two months early. Now the cold sets in, making any outdoor activity miserable. When not out hunting, time is spent fattening up for the winter hibernation. A new hobby develops. One that doesn't require helmets. Oh my god, I well, just <laughs> maybe it does. The, the snowmobiles await their future use, while the ice tires have yet to find their home on the KTM. The same KTM that sits in the barn collecting dust. An unusual circumstance this year is the lack of snow. This means an extension to the 2011 riding season. This has never occurred before, and we'll try to pack in as many rides. Snow or shine, we'll be out there. The cooler temperatures have required me to rejet my dirt bike. With this task comes a lot of problems and cursing that goes on in the garage. Of course, we gotta have uh, all kinds of problems. We got a, a little bit of an oil leak. I don't think you can see it there, but when you want to go out for a ride and your trusty KTM doesn't pull together, yeah, well, I guess it's what you get for being in the winter months. But a serious problem developed on my bike. I think I found the culprit. Oh, I can't even. It was quickly resolved. Believe it. Um, there's something called a choke. And when you leave it on, it doesn't work very well. Now with my bike dialed in, I'm ready to ride. Thank you for watching this video. Um, it was kind of depressing. But that was because it was a depressing time. No dirt biking. But that has changed. So check this out. Look oh, at that. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. We're taking these out. Look at these. We're taking these out. Look at these. Look at that. Look at that. We're taking these out too, right, Zach? No. Uh, uh, we're taking these out. We're taking this out. And that's.